Okay, hi folks, welcome back. You may notice behind me there is a monstrous collection of Halo. Okay, yeah. I guess I did that. So basically over the last few months, I've been collecting together a lot of Halo to sell on Facebook Marketplace. This is part two of my massive haul series. Today I'm going to Morecambe on the coast of England to buy the next lot. And as the end of this video finishes, all of this, all of this will be on sale on Facebook Marketplace. We're talking full blind bag series, three pelicans. There is so much to get your hands on. And the link as always is in the pinned comment and the description down below. Hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end of the video to sort of close this off and tell you how you can buy this stuff. Hello once, Hello, once again, again YouTube. YouTube. You join the domain today as we're heading towards yet another Halo haul. People keep on asking me, how do you get so many Halo hauls? It's just pure determination and always checking Facebook Marketplace. That's so where I found all my most recent ones, and we're in Lancaster and Morecambe for the weekend. It's a nice beach town in England. We came here for a Frank Turner gig. Big shout out to anybody who knows Frank Turner. We found a great listing on Facebook Marketplace. About a dozen Classic Halo sets ranging from the original Pelican all the way through to Broadsword Midnight Strike. The biggest thing about this haul is that everything is 100% complete. And by the end of this video, I'll be advertising the Facebook Marketplace listing where you can buy some of these sets. If you buy any of them, you're directly supporting the channel and supporting further Travel Blocks adventures. So we're only a few minutes out. Jerry's fishing. Whoa, Jerry's fishing. Turning at Jerry's Fishing. Morecambe is one of those classic British seaside towns. You know, at the height of Victorian England, all these seaside towns were just where everybody went on holiday. And then when cheap flights became available, a lot dried up. Morecambe's actually making a comeback recently. They've got some new development. And this road is where you used to live, Dad, right? Yes, I used to live on this road. The one with the scaffold on. Ooh. Very nice. The guy waiting for the Facebook Marketplace listing might think it's weird if we're filming out the window. The guy seems very proud of his collection. He says he's been uh, cultivating it for years and he's took very good care of it. I'm very excited for this one. Let's check it out. All right, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Whoa, oh no. The box won't fit. <laughs> oh, we'll have to leave it here. Is that an Arctic base plate? It's an Arctic battle ski. Very rare nowadays. I thought I'd see one of them. Whoa. You want to grab it? It's heavy. The heavier the better. I bought him out. First of all, it's great to have all the instruction manuals. This is one of the things that I was excited for the most. This is like an old triple pack. You got all three of these little dioramas and then you built them together into a Halo Legends booster frame. When I said to him, I was like, I'm excited about this one. He was like, yeah, that was the one I really didn't want to sell. I mean, look how clean these are. Apparently they were just in storage for years. They've been perfectly preserved. Clearly 100% complete. Like he, he really valued his collection, he cared for it. And it's also good to see the figures from the Broadsword Midnight Strike, including that Didact Cortana. This red helmet with inside a micro Falcon. Falcon? Hornet. These battlescapes have like shot up in value now because Mega's not made anything like this at all. And they made three of these originally. And then again, nothing else ever so to display stuff they're really perfect popular perfect for a diorama perfect for a diorama john exactly what better to go on the diorama than an arctic wolverine oh yeah that looks That's good the start eh? of a diorama that looks good eh? and what what sets this apart like uh, this hole was quite expensive and i don't usually spend that much outright i like to get stuff quite a bit cheaper but what stood out for me is like it's 100 percent complete so again i can live stream it for example something like this battlescape is 100 percent complete this nice orbital turret whoa, whoa. <laughs> <John out. laughs> it's quite nice that those springs still work after all this time so we're gonna go check out this hall back at home let's do it but first we gotta build all of it
the studio, aka my bedroom. It has actually been a couple of months since that last take of me sat in the motorhome with my parents. It has been a wild couple of months. Let's run down exactly what we got here. I'll go smallest to large. The original micro helmet. This was one of three that originally released. Also with a Covenant watchtower. Great to have another one of those in my collection. Brute Chieftain Charge. I remember when this first came out, I was so excited to get a Chieftain in my collection. I always thought that frill was really cool and it was topped in the NMPD Pelican. That Chieftain was amazing. Three of these beautiful little terms and to be honest, this was one of the things that made me want to buy this haul the most. And all three of these can be combined together to make what I think is one of the coolest sets ever made. It's gotta be top five. I just absolutely adore this and the display is amazing. And originally I was gonna sell this in this big sale and I just can't do it. I gotta keep this thing. It's so gorgeous. I'm considering keeping all of these and then buying a few more and making a huge Halo Legends diorama. Maybe buying a few more as well. Let's see what happens. ODST Ambush, my favorite diorama set. I'm, well, I mean, there is high ground, but this is so good. It's one of the most iconic sets, in my opinion, and I've collected so many of these over the years. At least 20 or 30 must have passed through my hands. I love the detail, the stickering, even that ODST, the paint apps on him are incredible. We got two Warthogs in my hands. The UNSC Flame Hog and Rocket Hog. We had a particularly really nice stream building these two. The Brute Prowler as well. This Brute Prowler, unlike my first haul, actually came with the little display piece, which is nice. That makes it 100% complete. And the Orbital Banshee Blitz does also come with this great little Mac Cannon uh, that would be attached to, I guess, the outside of a frigate in space. I wish Banshees came with much larger display stands so you could really have them flying, but still, dope to see. We were speaking of cool dioramas before the original Cryo Bay. This is amazing. They only re-release this actual piece once in the Forward Unto Dawn with a glassed over screen. I have nothing bad to say about this set whatsoever. We've got the Arctic Wolverine. Thank you, Father, for shooting some missiles at me earlier in the video. We're on to the big stuff now. Strap yourself the in. Arctic Battle Skate. The tower as well. And this is funny because this is the second one. I also got this in the original haul two days ago. It's crazy to get both of these sets in individual hauls, both at the same time. Really wild coincidence there. Straight out of an actual multiplayer map. Amazing. A lot of this I really want to keep, but I do not have the space or the funds to do Three so. more sets for today, and these are all legendary in their own right. The Broadsword Midnight Strike. Just look at, mwah, look at these. The Master Chief, Didact, and Cortana, all from Halo 4. Especially the paint apps on that Cortana are very nice. But you don't get more iconic than the original Pelican. This is crazy. I actually have three of these for sale right now. I have two just left over from another year. I, I mean, I have loads more in the attic, but I'm going to sell three. This one, however, is the only one of the three that is 100% complete. This little piece at the front is the piece that is always missing from Pelicans because it so easily falls off and gets lost, including beautiful yellow Hayabusa. And last but certainly not least, the UNSC Countdown. Funnily enough, the original Pelican I think is actually worth more than this Countdown, but it's still so iconic. Basically our first iteration of Noble Six and comes with interchangeable armor. And I know a lot of people are always looking out for this Halo Reach Marine. And you actually get two of them. So, ladies and gentlemen, rate my haul out of 10. Another incredible haul, and this is the second haul in a row on this channel. Two days ago, we had the first part. I really hope you've enjoyed this crazy adventure. But yeah, it's been a great time, and the sale for all this stuff will be going live today. So head over to Facebook, the Mega Constructs domain, check out the pinned post, or check out the link in the description and the comments of this video. And I'll see you next time. Domain, signing off. All right, so this series has just been such a joy to edit, and I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I love travel videos. Videos and I love buying good Halo bargains. With this sale, I'm gonna be raising money for a brand new camera and desktop Mac, and that means I'm gonna accelerate my uploads and my video, my content production value exponentially like it's so exciting and with your help from buying these sets you can help raise money to actually improve the quality of this channel which I think is just a great direct way of not only getting something you want but also knowing that the quality of the videos going forward is thanks to you so guys head on over to the mega constructs domain on Facebook and purchase some of these sets and directly help the channel's growth and continuation I cannot thank you enough for your support I always make sure to list stuff at a little bit below the average average sold price on eBay and keep in mind prices in America are very different to prices in England. But yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'll see you on Facebook. Domain signing off.
Look up. <laughs> Come on, a hundred. Oh. Oh. 